Hello and welcome back to another Shadowlands gold making video. Today we are looking at a couple of weekly 5 minute farms that can give between 50k and 100k gold per week. And these are farms you can do on every single character every single week. For this exact video we are talking about Raid Finder Mist of Pandaria Reigns because they are very easily accessible and they can drop battle pets of insane value. Personally this is something I've been doing for the last couple of weeks and it's a great way to make some gold by doing very little work, and it takes little to no effort at all. You could potentially also do these raids on normal or heroic, if you're looking for mounts from the old raids as well, but that will take longer because you will have to clear the entire raid. While doing it on LFR like the way we do it here, you can queue up for it like a dungeon, solo the bosses you want, then leave the group and get teleported out. So yeah, before we talk about the raids themselves, we need to talk about how you enter them. For this you need to head to Vale of Eternal Blossoms which is in Pandaria. You should be level 50 or in Shadowlands be level 60. It really doesn't matter because even at level 50 you pretty much one shot everything. Once you're here you might want to talk to Sidormi to turn back time to see the Vale as it was before 8.3 and then head inside the temple or the room and talk to this NPC. He will let you choose certain LFR wings from the Mist of Pandaria expansion. Now let's talk about the raids that we are covering today. The first raid finder wing is called the Halls of Flesh and is inside the Throne of Thunder. There are three bosses inside this instance and the only ones we really care about are the last two. So kill the first boss, make your way to Primordius and kill Primordius. Primordius has a chance to drop an item called the Quivering Blob which gives you the battle pet called the Living Fluid. This battle pet is valued at 40k gold on my realm and has an EU average price of 60k gold, so this is a very expensive battle pet. Once you've killed Primordius, make your way to the next boss which is the Dark Animus. This boss has a chance to drop the battle pet called the Son of Animus, which sells for 3k gold on my server with an EU average price of 5k gold, so this one is a little bit more common and a little cheaper. This entire wing takes you 5 minutes and has a chance of giving you 65,000 gold if you're really lucky. The second raid finder wing is called the downfall of Garrosh Hellscream and it's inside the Siege of Orgrimmar. Over here the first two bosses are the bosses you want. The first boss is the Siegecrafter Blackfuse which can drop the Blackfuse Bumbling which sells for 10k gold on my realm and has an EU average price of 12k. The next boss is the Paragons of the Klaxi which can drop the battle pet called Koivok which sells for 12k on my realm and has an EU average price of 13k. Doing these two bosses take you around 5 minutes, and if you're really lucky you can get 25,000 gold in those 5 minutes. So both these raid finder wings take you about 5 minutes, potentially even less if you're playing a faster character with some movement speed bonus, and you can get some battle pets worth a lot of gold while doing it. An extra bonus is the tier tokens you get from the bosses, which can be vended for 50 gold each, and the bosses themselves also drop roughly 50 gold plus some other epics. In total I would say it averages out to 100 gold per boss without the battle pets, so considering we are killing 5 bosses across both those raid finder wings, that is 500 pure gold as well. It's not much, but it adds up over time, and the main objective is the battle pets, so the extra gold you get is really just a bonus. The negative thing about this type of gold farming is first of all the RNG, but with that being said you can do this on all your level 50 characters. Another thing you really need to keep in mind is that battle pets can take a long time to sell, and in my experience I usually sell one of these battle pets per month, so this really should not be your main type of gold income, but it will help you make a lot of gold over time, and it's a really good way of making gold solo as well, considering you don't need a group for any of this. It's completely solo. There are multiple other bosses you can do as well that also drop battle pets, but in many of those scenarios, there's usually only one battle pet per raid finder wing, or the battle pets are really worth too little to be concerned about, at least in my opinion. That being said, I do frequently run raids like Firelands and Ice Crown Citadel, as I'm hunting for certain transmog items and mounts, and the battle pets from there are also worth quite a bit. Especially now that they nerfed the vendor values of most of the epic items dropping from the bosses from those raids, so the actual raw gold you get from running old raids is now way less than it used to be, which makes less people run them, which also drives up the prices 
of, of those battle pads. Once again, it's all about supply versus demand, and right now the supply seems to have gone down by a little bit, while the demand has been staying the same. For me, it's a win-win since I still need a lot of the mounts from those raids, so I can hit two birds with one stone. Actually, three birds with one stone since I'm farming for mounts, transmog, and battle pets, all at the same time. However, I only do that on my main character, or the characters I play a lot on since that's where I care about transmog. So if you only want a gold, then doing the old raids on raid finder difficulty and hunting for those battle pets could indeed be a very good idea. And since it only takes you 5 minutes per wing, it is a really decent way of making gold as well. And it doesn't take too much time off your week, considering it's a weekly thing. For reference, I do this on 5 characters at the moment, and it takes me 5 minutes per raid finder wing. And I only do the 2 wings that I covered in this video. And if we consider loading screens and reload times, it takes me 1 hour to complete both these LFR wings on 5 of my characters, giving me 5 chances at obtaining each of the battle pets I covered in this video. As for the actual drop chance of the battle pets, I really can't tell you, as I haven't done enough testing to come up with an exact percentage myself, but the Blackfuse Bumbling is listed with a 0.76% drop chance, while the Son of Animus is listed with a 3.73% drop chance. However, I do think this drop chance is different when you activate Legacy Loot System instead of Personal Loot, since I got a Blackfuse Bumbling myself on my second week of farming, and I also doubt that the Blackfuse Bumbling would only be worth 10k gold if it had a less than 1% drop chance in total, so the drop chances should be different when you use Legacy Loot. Personally, I haven't really covered a lot of these types of gold farms on my channel, but the combination of old raids and battle pet farming really is a good way of making gold, and it can be done solo. My goal is to make gold making content suitable for everyone, so hopefully some of you will find this video helpful and enjoyable. One pattern we have seen in the past is that once a new expansion comes out, the expansions that was prior to the old expansion gets battle pets introduced as boss loot, to help keep that content relevant, which means we will most likely see Warlords of Draenor raids and maybe even Legion raids get battle pets like the battle pets in this video. I guess Warlords of Draenor already has some of these, like the Shadow Lord Iskar from Hellfire Citadel drops a battle pet, but I don't think many of the Legion raids have battle pets dropping from them, so I would imagine that is coming soon. And that is pretty much it for the video. Just a quick little advice on how you can make a lot of gold with just 5 to 10 minutes of weekly work per character. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a like if you did, and if the video was utter garbage, then feel free to give it a dislike as well. Your feedback means a lot to me, and I spend a lot of time reading the comments, so feel free to leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to reply. I would be very interested in hearing how often these battle pets drop for you guys, if you decide to test them out. So let me know. And that is it, thank you for watching the video, and I will see you again very soon.